Today on Running to Him. Because God loved us even when we were in our sin, we should reach out to others and help them on their journey to Christ. We will read through the book of Psalms for six months, and today we read Psalm 144, and we concentrate on verses 3 through 4. Psalm 144, verses 3 through 4 in the Tanakh says, O Lord, what is man that you should care about him, mortal man that you should think of him? Man is like a breath. His days are like a passing shadow. Well, some days you just have to agree with David. Why does God care about us? When we look at things around and they're happening and, and how God is being denigrated in virtually everything that's going on politically and socially, we have to ask, why would God even put up with us? Well, in Genesis 6, verses 5 through 8, Moses writes, Then the Lord saw that the wickedness of man was very great on the earth, and that every intent of the thoughts of his heart were only evil continually. The Lord was sorry he'd made man on the earth, and he was grieved in his heart. The Lord said, I will blot out man whom I have created from the face of the land, from man to animals, creeping things, and birds of the sky, for I am sorry that I have made them. But Noah found favor in the eyes of the Lord. Now, it's pretty clear from those four verses that God was fed up with mankind. And if Noah had not received grace from God, the earth would have been a very, very different place. Naturally, I'm ascribing man's understanding of frustration and putting it on God. God's character is not the same as humanity's, so our understanding of frustration is entirely different from God's. But the question remains, how bad was it in Noah's day in comparison to today's world? The average grown Christian would say that we've achieved pretty much the same notoriety that Noah's society had achieved. Our culture seems bent on doing everything unholy and then calling their actions holy or righteous. I frankly cannot see God allowing this to go on much further. Now, there was a conversation on television the other day between two commentators. One of the commentators dared to equate pregnancy with cancer. Then she said, we wouldn't deny a cancer patient treatment. Abortion is health care. She then mentioned that there were economic reasons that a person could use to justify an abortion. The second commentator then chimed in and said, that's the same argument that Margaret Sanger used to justify abortion and force blacks into sterilization in the 20s and the 30s. Many believe that we are in the last days and that God will begin the tribulation leading to his final judgment. No one can be sure when the tribulation will occur, but I can't think of a better time than right now or in the near future. Mankind is just dust. There is an icon of St. Sicilius standing over the grave of Alexander the Great, and Alexander's bones are displayed in a coffin. And St. Sicilius says, Once you were the most powerful man on earth, and yet now you've gone the way of everybody and turned to dust. Romans 5.8 tells us that when we were yet sinners, God loved us enough to send Christ to bring us back to him. But we are not to remain sinners. We are to become Christ-like and lead others into that relationship. Thank you for listening. We pray that today's devotion was meaningful to you. We would love to hear from you. You can use either Facebook or YouTube to like, subscribe, share, and tell others about us. If you would like to contact us, you can reach me at PhineasJacobus at runningtohim.net.